Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be cooking a dinner that I was inspired by my co-worker. Let me shout her out because she be um she be looking at my videos sometime. My co-worker Shanika. Hey girl. And thank you for um the idea um on this meal. For telling me about this meal. Um so today I'm gonna be doing um like a bell pepper and onion sausage potatoes um seasoned potatoes dinner i guess that's what you call it <laughs> just sausage and potatoes and i'm also going to be incorporating some um green for the kids i try to um every time i cook i try to at least you know have some type of green some type of vegetable but um i'm going to start with my bell pepper I had to hurry up and use this bell pepper because it was getting old. I hate when I buy produce, vegetables, and um, fruits, and they get bad. They turn bad real fast. But yeah, um, yeah, my coworker, like I said, Shanika, she was telling me about this. Um, recipe and I told her girl I'm gonna try it and so now I'm deciding to try it I have my potatoes roasting in the oven I don't know if you guys will see it my light went out oh yeah there it go you can see I thought my light went out actually those look done so I'm gonna turn that off So what I'm doing now is cutting up a whole bell pepper. I usually, when I use bell peppers and stuff, I usually just do a half. But since this one is about to go bad, it didn't go bad. It's not bad, but it was on its way withering. Withering. I went on and just used the whole thing. Because I honestly don't like to waste food. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and throw these in the pan. Let me um, put a little olive oil in there. Just for the vegetables, just for the, um, turn my broccoli down. Just for the onions and the bell peppers, cause you know, sausages, they make their own oil. Go. I hate this stove. I'm used to a um a flat surface stove. Electric. Electric, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. Guys, the bell peppers. Oh, I could have cut those up a little smaller, but anywho. Cut my onion. I have a, a half of um, white onion. How you guys been doing? I've been doing great. Oh, no. And also, I want to thank the ones that do look at my videos and do give me support. It's really appreciated. And for those that don't know me and are just watching or gonna start watching I want to give you guys a thanks too yeah, yeah, yeah. for looking at my videos my cooking videos I don't know why but this just make me want to make some eggs too 
There's some wicked, ain't it? Come on. Sausage, potatoes, and eggs. That ain't weird. But it's weird with the broccoli. Y'all see that? Rice. Yeah, rice would be good with it, but I ain't gonna make no rice. And so y'all know I'm about to add some of the garlic. I love me, I love cooking with garlic. Garlic is good for your heart. Butterball turkey um, sausage. Look at that smell good. Uh, Don't let garlic and bell pepper and onion smell good. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to rinse them off, y'all. I rinse all my meat off. You laughing at girl? Okay, with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. What they look weird about, girl? What you talking about, girl? I wonder if I could cut them up like this, y'all. Look at that. Get them all out the way. They're lazy. Mm -hmm. Probably should have used my frying pan, but honey, I just feel like using that wok pan. Yeah. That's what it call, ain't it? And I could have put these sausages in the oven too, but I wanted to do them on the top, um, on top of the stove. I think my coworker she put on, she put hers in the oven. Yeah, I should have used my frying pan. That summer a little, I'm gonna turn this broccoli off. It's just a little quick meal today. I do quick meals when I have to work at night, and today I have to go to work. So I thought, you know, why not try this recipe that my friend was telling me about with my co worker.
you had to turn that up. It take it too long. <laughs> Just a little oil, more olive oil on I was gonna be sleeping on. The same. What do you mean the same? I had to do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. White note. Write right notes on. Mm -hmm. oh, what you had to write notes on? Um, John Locke. John Locke. John Locke. John Locke. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Uh, it's in world history. So they got to yeah. learn the world history mm -hmm. and the black history much. <laughs> <laughs> is John Locke John Lock black? <clears throat> is he an African American? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, he is, um, white. He's a Caucasian. And he was around during the Enlightenment. Oh, okay. During the Enlightenment. So did you have to write notes on, do you have to, like, write notes on a particular person, individual, or it was for the whole class? for the whole time. Like, he like, you write notes like every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like every day you write notes and every day you write notes and then we do questions about what our notes is about for the day. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good way to learn, I feel like. And then on top of that, he's like discussed with us and he really break it down and you know, and he talk to us about it makes us understand and get the work. So some people don't really able to put the notes on there and they just accept them to be connected up. Oh wow. That's why I like teachers that break it down to me. Right. And they really tell me what, what I have to do and what's going on and what's going on in that time. And that's how I pass on the test. That's good, Mom. That's good, Mom. Yeah, I had, I had made the second highest grade in, out of all his classes in the whole school. On his um, test. That's what's up. You guys, my daughter Simone, she's very smart. She has so many talents. Like, one of them, she, she's good in math. She's good in braiding, doing hair. She's good in baking. She, she can bake anything homemade. It comes out good. She's a good cook. She know how to dance. She keep me update with the, what it is, the woo, the wah. The woe. The woe and all kind of dances. It's just that she, she's just the type of person that's just very talented. And she, she overall is good at everything she do. I'm talking about everything she do, she's good at it.
I was trying to get my little sausages a little crisp to it, y'all. Y'all know I like that little crisp. I'm going to taste this broccoli over here, honey. Yo. <laughs> That's good. Y'all know how I am about that little crisp. A little less olive oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause this pan is a non-stick pan, and it's it makes it own oil. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm gonna have to pour some out. I'll be back. To make it, how do you like to? I don't like it, but it's, it's a pretty like it. lame school. But you know, what about the teachers? The teachers are very ghetto. Oh wow! They act like kids. Oh wow! They be like, let me see the fight. Are you talking about the camera? Oh wow! Huh? <laughs> okay, be still with that. My food. Thank you, baby. Yeah, they be talking about drama and stuff. Mm hmm. I don't know if like a weird country teacher. Oh, wow. Are they young? No. Not at all. They're old. They old and talking about let me see the fight. Mm hmm. That's crazy. You like uh, old school. I even had a dance class. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot more festivities, a lot more extra curriculum that came to do on my own school, but this school we ain't really got none. Mm -hmm. The world is so crazy now because as, well, as when we was younger and we were growing up, our teachers, our teachers didn't play that. You can never catch a teacher saying, ooh, let me see the fight. I am. teachers be That's crazy. Teachers be cussing, they be talking about put your A down, or they be cussing up a storm. Like, I, was like, okay. like, I feel like in, in today's society, the teachers, they more of Probably cool. going, yeah, they're too trying to be cool, but really um, went into that profession just so they can have a job, you know, get money. But they say teachers don't really get paid that much, but I really don't see the effort that some teachers I don't see the effort that they put in so like you know really want the students to learn it's always well I got mine I'm here to help you get yours you know what I'm saying yeah that's it's always that attitude too. you know they say that all the time like, I already graduated and the thing about they don't help us graduate they just I, I like I got the one teacher right mm -hmm. And see that since, like, it's like a principal making it harder and harder for everybody to graduate. Mm -hmm. While he keep on changing the lessons, changing the grade, changing the work, changing how everything works, which is making it harder for some people who are trying to, you know, you know, get their grades up or, you know, like, mm -hmm. progress or, you know, make some progress in their learning and stuff. Because he keep on changing the le lesson plans. And you can't be changing the lesson plans. You can't change the lesson plans in the middle of the year. Mm -hmm. Like after the teachers already like you know decided what they're gonna do for that certain lesson plan. Mm -hmm. But you know our principal is just like that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And he said if they if 
if the student missed a day, automatically put a zero in. It don't matter if y'all didn't have no assignment or not. Just put a zero in because they shouldn't have missed no day. Oh, he's mean. Yeah, and then, like, my favorite teacher told me this. And he was just like, we had a meeting yesterday. And how, he was like, how much you want to bet none of your other teachers is going to tell you this? Because... Because they don't want to see you succeed. Oh, wow. But he was just like, but I'm going to tell you. They don't want, they don't, they don't want you to succeed, baby. They just want you to, to stay, stay where you at and make and don't flourish. That's sad. Well, you want to succeed, come on. You got God on your side. That was good. It is. My friend, my coworker, Shanika, she be telling me, she's like, what up? But she said she bake hers. Let me get some grilled tomatoes. Some grilled tomatoes. Even though Ooh, what about some corn on the cob? I've been yeah. infatuated with corn on the cob lately. And then school ain't even about learning anymore. It's, it's, just, about, about? it's just about passing the test. What? Really, like, that's all just you need. Just a pass. You just gonna do it so you can just get by. Yeah. That's but you ain't really learning nothing. Yeah, that's how it is. And this is what for dinner, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. Doesn't it, mine? I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top of mine. You need sour cream? I, yeah, sour cream. My bad, y'all. See? There I go again. Not not talking today, not using correct wording. Talking about some darn sour cream. <laughs> I don't know, I just want some sour cream on here. <laughs> I really want some um some cheese on top of them potatoes. But Cortez yeah. done made all them doing what the, what he made them tortillas. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. I I don't know. Used up all my them, darn cheese. Those quesadilla things. I mean those tortillas tasted weird from the first one. The one that I brought I think because they probably taste that way because I had brought the um the low carb ones. Yeah, those take, that one tastes weird, and it tastes good like the other torch, you know. So, we're going to use this, honey, organic sour cream, and we're going to put some on. Now, my friend, she don't do this. She she didn't, she didn't, uh, my coworker, she didn't make broccoli on the side or put um sour cream. sour cream on top, but this is my own little twist. And we're going to dig in, honey. We finna taste this. You guys, when I say bomb.com. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. This would be another move. Um, see, I can't talk. I don't know why I can't talk. But this would be another meal that I'd be incorporating in my um meals. Mm, 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 mm. That's so good. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget.